Welcome back guys, it's DK and today I'm gonna present to you Windows Genuine Maker 2.0, the version, newer version with fixed bugs, let, uh, is fixed bugs, activators uh, and much more stuff. You can see here you So let's start. Uh, so basically you have to get a good internet connection or any internet connection. Just uh, look for that it's work. And download WGM downloader or WGM web client from my website the download link in the details below so I'm gonna show you right away So this is the downloader for WGM 2.0. So you need uh, to activate your internet before you start the download. Just hit the download button and it will start downloading for you. And the download is completed. <laughs> I have a super fast internet, don't worry about it. So I'm gonna cut this crap and uh, jump straight to uh, the main, f main window of uh, WGM 2.0 just close this or you don't have to close this you just can run from here just I run from here okay it's not responding but uh, maybe I'm uh, working, uh, working on a virtual machine that's why but I'm gonna show you the original function of WGM 2.0 the original window here it goes So this is the license agreement. Uh, make sure you read it carefully and uh, it has a lot of saying. Big stuff. So hit I agree button and it will check you directly to the WGM window. Here it goes. And you should remember that I have removed Windows 7 function from the new version of WGM. You'll Welcome to Windows Genuine Maker 2.0. Ah, In step 1, it will guide you, you can activate your copy of Windows. If you have already done that, please feel free to skip this step. In the main window, the IVG or Interactive Voice Guide will guide you to the last closing time of Windows Genuine Maker 2.0. So you don't have to worry about it. Just hear your voice. So this is my Windows 8.1 Enterprise version. Let me show you something. Uh, in previous version, there was a problem with 64-bit operating systems. So this time, I started with 64-bit operating system, and it also works on 32-bit, so you uh, don't worry about. Uh, this Windows is not activated, not generated, not anything. It is a 64-bit operating system, Windows 8.1 Enterprise. So let's start. So sh we should hit the Activate button first. It's activating, and as it says, the activation proce process can take up to 15 minutes, depending on your configuration. But uh, proceed with just step two, and after everything done, reboot your PC. It will be done. J so just do as I as I say. It will be fine. It is activating through common prompt. You can see it's activating through CMD DOS. So there's no other crack or KMS activator. It's just a genuine activator, and. Uh, as this activate, uh, activates your windows, you don't have to worry about The activation about process can take up to 15 minutes depending on your configuration. For your information, you can now enjoy using Microsoft Office 2013 with this activator installed. Now click next to proceed with step 2. So, <coughs> as it is said, it has said that uh, once this activator is installed, you don't have to worry about your Office 13 version. You can just install Office 13 and use it. Uh, you don't have to worry about any cracks or activators for it. So hit the next In button. In step two, you need to select your Windows version first. Uh, step two, make it genuine. Uh, in this step, you make the make your Windows genuine. So 
but select your Windows version. For me, it is Windows 8.164 bit. Now, click Make Genuine button. After the process is done, please click Update Registry button to confirm the registration and avoid any further issues. So let's hit the Make Genuine button. Should listen to the software, yeah? The software tells you. Except it talks a lot. Now, click Update Registry button. So the files uh, required to make it genuine or installed. So you just need to update registry. This is the new function I was talking about because in the previous version I was, there was only one button to make genuine. But uh, in 64-bit Windows there are some several problems with the Windows registry update. So in this version I just added a new uh, update registry button so nothing can left back. Just I am tying up some loose ends or something. There is updating. The job is done. Now close this program and restart Windows to complete the process. That's just what he said. And don't mind with my talking. I'm a little high in now. I have to go to my college, so <laughs> I'm in little hurry. I'm in little hurry, so just skip it. So it created the temporary files. And uh, just check now. There, there are no. Uh, there are no watermarks here. If you get the watermarks after the program is closed, you have to restart your Windows. But if the watermark is gone, you can just check your system properties to check if it's done. So you can see here the Windows is activated and it is genuine. So goodbye everyone until next time. Uh, please post some comments on my website about your experience with this software.